Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I will show you a beautiful and easy marbling technique using Ranger's metallic mixatives. I've got a container of water here that is just about the size of a card panel with the water about an inch deep and I have silver and gold mixatives from Ranger. And these are a pigment ink that can be used with their alcohol ink products for some pretty metallic effects. All I'm gonna do here is squeeze out a couple of drops of the product and when they hit the surface of the water, they're going to spread out and create a film on the surface. And that is so cool that I want you to watch it again in slow motion. This was really my first time playing with the product, so just the fact that that happened made me so happy. You can lay your cardstock right onto the surface, and I'll do that later in the video, but on this first sample, I wanted to get underneath the ink so that you can actually see it grabbing onto the surface. And this is a square of black matte board, so this bright silver shows up really nicely. And I'm just gonna set that aside to dry, and that is it. There are still some fragments floating in the water, and you can grab a second print with those as well, or add in more color or a new color to keep going with the same water. I just added more silver here. And this is a piece of watercolor paper that I had die cut earlier. I just laid that onto the surface of the water and gave it a little wiggle to make sure I had good coverage. For this sample, I mixed the gold and silver. And you can probably see on this sample that when I pushed the cardstock down to the bottom of my container, I got a print on the front and on the back. The initial print on the front side will be the fullest, but those little broken up fragments can make some really interesting prints as well. In the middle of everything, I thought I'd try some regular alcohol ink, so here's how that went. And this was all really new to me, so I just kept learning as I went along. This was on photo paper, which worked pretty well too. This is watercolor paper, and I ended up really liking this print with all the fragments that were left. I had a few plastic eggs, so I thought I'd try marbling those, and this has the feel of a ping pong ball, just for reference. I didn't have any boiled eggs to try, but I don't know why this wouldn't work on a regular eggshell as well. Some of the silver ink got a little trapped by the film of the alcohol ink, so I used my palette knife to gently pull it around and create some places for it to spread out a little bit. This egg wanted to float, so that made it a little more difficult to get good coverage, but isn't that pretty? I did a second dip on my watercolor panel so it picked up all those little flecks of blue and some silver. One final piece, and for this one I mixed regular alcohol ink with a gold mixative and then pulled the gold around a little bit to mix the colors gently together. I think this was watercolor paper, and I love the print from this combination. It's hard to believe that something that intricate is so easy to do. I literally just dropped the paper onto the top of the water. Here are the cards that I made with my finished panels. I did notice a little of the metallic finish rubbing off on some of the smoother papers, so I went ahead and sprayed those with a fixative, so you may wanna do that too. Have fun with these and share your results, and that is going to be one beautiful gallery. Thank you so much for watching.